today we got a pretty short lesson, but it's going to be a good one. Uh, we got three or four things that we're going to really going to focus on. Um, this is a little jig, uh, which means it's in three four time basically. But this one is in twelve eight, so we're going to count the eighth note uh, in groups of three one two three two two three three two three four two three, and that adds up to twelve one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve. So if you play a, a simple melody. I'm going to take all those little uh, ornaments out for a second and listen how it sounds. And one, two, three, one, two, three. Then again. the whole lesson you have in front of you. Example one. So let me do that again really slow and we're going to count once again in threes and one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Then I'm going to do the second half. Changes just a little bit here and climbs up to that suspended chord and then it has a tag. Okay, now we're going to add these two fingers, uh, I and M, which is index and middle, and the thumb comes a little later. Check it out. We're going to go with these fingers if you can and try to alternate them. It might be rough at first if you haven't done this before. I used my thumb on that last one. Now here's the second half. Example one still. And climb up to the suspended chord. And then I've got the tag, which I'm going to use my thumb for. All right. Now we're going to move to example two here. This is where we add these on top and the thumb on the drone note, which is going to make it sound a lot like kind of a bagpipey thing, like an Irish bagpipe. So listen to this. It goes, we're going to hit the open string, fourth, which is why we have to use these two fingers now, because the thumb is playing with those guys. It's not too hard after you do it really slow like this. Here's the second half. Now my thumb's going to move to the C string and it makes a cool sound. And now just thumb on the last part again on the tag. Okay, now here's the fun part. We're going to add ornaments to this melody. That simple melody is cool, but it really won't sound like a nice jig or a pipe unless we have the ornaments. In this case, we're going to add and a good way to start practicing this, we're going to use uh, a hammer on and a pull off with a pick on each side of it. So check it out. We're going to have that's the second one that shows up and it's a lot easier to practice that first. First finger, second fret, first string. Pick and then pick, hammer, pull, pick on the next string. So it goes Pick, hammer, pull, pick. Pick, hammer, pull, pick. And you're just going to hammer onto the fret and then pull right off towards the ground. And if you do this a lot, you'll start getting better at it. Now, let's try it with the pinky going from the beginning of the melody. get really good at getting your finger right on the fret. Instead of right in the middle of it, you get kind of crunchy sounds. So right next to the fret instead of on top of it. And you can really snap it. You're going to pinky, hammer, pull, and then pick. Pick, hammer, pull, pick. Pick, hammer, pull, pick. Okay, so listen to that melody by itself. I'm not going to add the drone quite yet. 
And notice we're going in a triplet pattern. That's if you look at example three now. Here's the drone with my thumb. And there's that pickup note. And one, two, three, one, two, three. If you could just do that a little bit. And one, two, three, one. And as you work through the piece, you'll realize why it's so short because there's a lot to do. And then end with your thumb. Now we go switch to the C string and you get the pickup again. Climb back up to the... And then this last part is all thumb. We're gonna put a little hammer on here. Bum, bum, body a dum. That one's pretty easy. And I would suggest just going really slow like that. So get the melody first. On example two. And then work it into example three where we have all the ornaments. And go really slow so you're now here's the C string. that rhythm one triple at three one triple at three one triple at three one triple at three and then you speed it up just a hair you get what starts to sound like almost an Irish kind of bagpipe jig Just a little excerpt from uh, one of my studies and there's a lot more of that one to go if, if you want to look at the book but um, for now just go home and practice that and enjoy your lesson as usual.